Problem 704. We have a prop beam of length L and loaded as shown. We are going to solve the reactions R1, R2, and M2 using area moment method. Let us draw the moment diagram by parts. We are going to take support 2 for the fixed end as our moment center. Moment at 2 due to R1, this is the diagram, a first degree curve. The value at 2 is R1 times L. Moment at 2 due to WO is this diagram, a parabolic spandrel. Notice the WO will cause the beam to bend downward about 0.2. The reason why our moment area is in the negative side of our diagram. WO times B times the moment arm B over 2 is 1 half or 0.5 WOB squared. This is the approximate elastic curve of our beam. If we draw a tangent line at 2, the tangent is horizontal and coincidence with the undeformed neutral axis. The vertical distance of the elastic curve from the tangent line is called deviation. The symbol is T. The deviation of elastic curve at 1 from the tangent line through 2, the symbol is T subscript 1 over 2, is 0. As you can see at point 1, there is no vertical distance between the tangent and the elastic curve. Because EI is constant, we can multiply deviation T by EI. Formula for deviation. Area of the moment diagram by parts between 1 and 2 times barred x from 1. Note that barred x from 1 is the distance from point 1 to the centroid of the area. For the triangular area, 1 half times base L of the triangle times the altitude R1L times centroid from 1, 2L over 3. For the negative second degree spandrel, minus 1 third times base B times altitude, 0.5 WOB squared. And for the centroidal distance barred X, the distance of the centroid from point 2 is 1 fourth of B. Therefore, its distance from point 1 is L minus B over 4. Simplify and rearrange. We have R1 times L cubed over 3 is equal to WOB cubed over 6 times the quantity L minus B over 4. Solve for R1 by cross multiplying L cubed over 3 to the right. We have R1 is equal to WOB cubed over 2 L cubed times the quantity L minus B over 4. Factor 1 fourth from the inside of the parenthesis and we have the value of R1. Summation of forces in the vertical direction is zero. We have upwards, R1 and R2, is equal to downwards, WO times B. Rearrange. Substitute R1. Factor WO times B over 8L cubed. And we have the value of R2. The moment at 2 is equal to the sum of all moments to the left of 2. M2 is equal to R1 times L minus WOB times the moment arm B over 2. Substitute R1 times L minus WO times B squared over 2. Factor negative WO times B squared over 8L squared. We have the value of M2. Thank you. Thank you.